Hi and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new floor plan by Heartland RV. This is a new Gateway 3900. We'll take a few minutes, walk you around the outside and the inside of this coach. Uh, one of the first things you'll see on the Gateway product is it is not a white exterior RV. It is full colored fiberglass exterior on the side walls, front cap and rear wall. Also they have uh, somewhat color matched the rubber roof system basically to try and blend in. It's not a plain white rubber roof like some brands that are still trying to color their glass. You've got a uh, notched back turning radius cap uh, for an 88 degree turning rate on a short bed truck. They actually have a uh, patent on this type of thing here that they're working on. You've got a nice hitch cover here. Down below, you've got a large storage compartment here. This has uh, the optional residential refrigerator with inverter and battery system. So this actually has two batteries in here, inverter back behind it. There's also a battery disconnect switch up here as well to shut the batteries off. And uh, you've got your power cord here in the bag. Uh, more storage area here. You've got your spare tire down below on the front. You've got the... Uh, quick pull pins for the electric front jacks here to drop the feet. Got a large A&E power awning here. Has the LED light strip. You've got a security light on the front corner as well. Down below you've got a electric outlet here to plug in items. You've got two outdoor speakers got a 30 pound gas bottle on this side and one on the other side also has a little latch here to padlock it if you want to electric outlet here as well very large storage compartment here lots of storage room got uh, some of the controls here lights electric outlet in here as well tie downs finished off really well inside too it's not a bunch of raw wood and stuff like that that you see they again use a lot of aluminum framing in this product uh, another electric outlet down here as well too got shocks on a few of the doors basically to uh, keep them from interfering with the slide system you've also got a magnetic latch on this door here 30 inch wide radius entry door here with a screen door also. It's radius on the top. So if you lower down and adjust the awning at a tilt and if for some reason it ever hit the uh, door, it's less likely to get damaged. You've got a security light above the door. Triple entrance step. There's actually a light under there as well too. You've got a uh, large folding entry handle again here. That folds over. You've got weather guard protection, 3900 SE model number here, RVIA seal here next to the door. You've got the correct track alignment system on this product as well too. That's basically to help adjust the camber of the axle if needed. It's kind of similar to like a front end alignment on a car. This has the uh, Dexter never adjust brakes. They've got the uh, Dexter Easy Flex axle suspension system and the correct track alignment system as well, like we just spoke about. Down in between the wheels here, you can see the Easy Flex suspension system. That is basically there to help absorb road shock from potholes and things like that you might encounter along your road trip. You've got upgraded frameless windows on the Gateway product. This is a nice new feature they've kind of taken from uh, a lot of the automotive world. Um, but it is a uh, cleaner, sleeker look versus the old metal frame with the rubber around it that you could kind of see and the rubber shrink over time or discolor if it's an ugly white window. You've got a ladder on the back here going up to the roof. Got a crowned roof as well too so it's kind of arched for better water runoff. Three inch gutter extensions to shed away the water as well. The uh, power cord plugs into the rear here. You've got uh, electric rear jack button right here. Here you can see the electric rear jacks. And underneath, you've got a full enclosed underbelly. A 
Up here you've got the stove exhaust vent. If you're in there cooking, you just flip that open. You've got your furnace exhaust here, 10 gallon gas electric water heater. This is a suburban button, so the electric button is actually in the lower corner here to turn it on electric. Down below, you've got your uh, low point water drains and your fresh water drain as well, too. Got your dump area here. You've got a light here as well, too. In here's your docking station area. You've got uh, light in here also, outside utility shower, hot and cold water. You've got your fresh water fill, city water hookup. You've got your black tank flush. Over here, you've got an electric outlet again, cable and satellite hookups, and then your dump valves. You feed your uh, hookups and stuff through the hole here. Right up in here, close the door, latch it off so nobody can mess with your stuff. Another 30 pound propane tank on this side. We'll take a few minutes, walk you through the inside. When you first walk up into the coach, just to the right here, uh, just as you walk in the door here, you've got your main switch area turning on and off some of the uh, items as well. But you've got uh, you know, porch lights, entry lights, ceiling lights, kitchen lights. You've got your awning receptacle on-off switch, water pump, 12-volt tank heaters. You've got uh, your water heater, floodlights, awning in and out button, monitor panel here. For your black and gray tanks, fresh tanks. Slide out controls here as well too. And then more over here because you have four slides. And then you've got uh, your remote switch here for turning on the uh, inverter system. You've got a nice big coat closet here when you walk in. Electric box down below with your breakers and fuses in it. Another really nice feature if you look at the cabinetry here, this has the uh, Euro hidden hinges. Another really cool feature Heartland does here, you've got warranty numbers for a lot of the different appliance manufacturers, things like that. So if you're out on the road and something goes wrong, you've got numbers right to those direct factories if you need help, uh, especially on the weekends or something if uh, Heartland happens to be closed. This has the uh, optional, again, residential refrigerator with the battery system. So this gives you a much bigger refrigerator than normal. Got a little pantry area here beside the refrigerator. Goes all the way down to the floor area there and up. Got a 30 inch microwave here. High point with the rotisserie tray. Three burner stovetop has the sparker to light the top three burners. And then you've got the larger 21 inch oven versus the standard 16 a lot of brands have. Got drawer down below as well too. These drawers are an upgrade as well. They are full extending ball bearing drawer guides. Nice size handles. Got an electric outlet down below here, which is a ground fault breaker. Also have a little light switch here as well, too. Bigger pantry in the center here. Nice cabinet space in the island. Some more drawer space as well, too. Solid surface kitchen countertops. Has the pull-out sprayer faucet, solid surface covers, stainless steel sink. We have a freestanding dinette with four chairs. Two of the chairs fold up. You can store them. The other two are traditional RV chairs. Um, you've got storage in the tabletop as well, too. 
This tabletop also swivels around and also has an extension on it as well too to extend it out. Got some really nice light switches here in the slide as well. Recess lights also. This unit has the theater seating. Each seat here reclines, has a cup holder as well too. The uh, center opens up for storage here. And the recliner pieces are actually right here in the sides, just to pop that up to make it recline. You've got really nice uh, finished off window framing here. Again, trying to help hide the traditional RV look. You've got nice MCD roller shade here. Basically you pull down on it, it rolls up. The cabinets up above have storage area, but when they raise up actually, you've got little uh, shock adjuster here to kind of hold it up here. Same thing on the center and the other side. In the rear of the coach here, we've got a very large sofa. On the right hand side, these two seats here actually, this flips out into a bed. This is a tri-fold bed. The third portion does not. This is an improvement over the older gateways, uh, which had the standard air mattress version. Uh, this here gives you a little more comfortability without having to worry about it getting popped. They've got a nice LED blue light here as well too. Nice little strip under there. And then you also have your traditional LED lights up there also. Storage up here as well. Emergency exit window on the rear. Got a really nice electric fireplace here. Solid surface countertops above. Flat screen TV. More storage. You've got a uh, DVD stereo system here. Indoor outdoor speaker controls, USB hookups, HDMI outputs, SD card reader. Uh, so this thing does a whole lot of things besides just play uh, music. Also, it's Bluetooth as well too, which is a real nice feature. You can stream things from your iPhone, uh, from your uh, tablets, things like that. Stream music and stuff right to it. Got ducted air conditioning system. It's H duct, so you got two ducts running down the center of the coach here. Makes it more efficient. Got a bar stool for the island area there. Also on the island, it has an electric outlet on each side, and then the propane leak detector down below here. Also, you have uh, in floor ducted heat. There is also LED lights at the uh, step area there. We've got a window going up the hallway area. Also a nice little uh, magnetic door catch as well too. This will take you on up into the bedroom area or you can get straight to the bathroom from down here either way. Going on up into the bathroom area. You've got a nice porcelain foot flush toilet. You've got some cabinets above, a fan up here, or I'm sorry, this is, yeah, got a little fan up inside there. You've got a nice molded fiberglass shower. This is an upgraded shower here. It's not your typical plastic. Three door sliding glass here. Basically, this just slides back. It's a really cool feature. You've got a nice sink here. Again, solid surface. Medicine cabinet. Skylight above the shower. Also, this area has uh, heat in it and air conditioning. You'd be real surprised how many brands don't. It's got a sliding pocket door here in the hallway. You've got your air conditioner controls up here, 
This basically controls the downstairs, downstairs air and furnace. Uh, it's digital thermostat here, light switch for the hallway. Up into the master bedroom area, you've got another control for the second air conditioner. Another light switch for the bedroom area. Going up into the hallway area there, you've got a very large slide system. This control goes from the front, almost all the way in the front of the coach, halfway back. So you got a real big closet area here, which you could do a washer dryer in if you wanted to. Kind of set them side by side. Got a nice nightstand area here beside the bed, couple drawers, electric outlet, again another window here, solid surface countertop. More solid surface countertop over by the window there, some in the middle, little seat area on each side, more cabinet space. Got TV hookups here as well if you wanted to mount a TV to the wall. In the uh, closet area up here, it's got a light switch flipping on and off the light area. But basically, you've got some cabinetry up here. Got more drawers, another little cabinet area up there, hanging rod all the way across, and you got a little shelf area built in. Got a, another little uh, area beside the bed here, little shelf area here also. The bed raises up underneath the bed here, you've got a safe. This also has a nice upgraded pillow top mattress, so it's nice and soft. Again, this has been another video on the Gateway 3900. Thanks for taking the time to watch our videos. Please be sure to check out some of our others.